Next example. In this one, again, to identify the discontinuities, we set the denominator equal to 0. Does this look like the work we were doing earlier today? Yes, of course, we have to factor. What two numbers multiply to give you 8, add to give you 0? I'm sorry, add to give you 6? 14. So we set them both equal to 0. x equals negative 4, x equals negative 2. These are my two values where a function is not defined. These are my discontinuities, right? What kind of discontinuities are they? Are they holes or are they asymptotes? I don't know until I simplify both my numerator and my denominator. This, I notice, is a perfect square trinomial. Square number, square number, two times both of those um, numbers. So therefore, I have x plus 4 times x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 times x minus or x plus 2. 4s divide out. That means this is a, starts with an h, hole. Oh, this is a asymptote. The domain is from negative infinity to negative 4. Union, oops, sorry, yep. Union, negative 4 to negative 2. Union, negative 2 to infinity. You guys are not going to be able to do your homework unless you write down the next slide. Um, where do you don't have time for our graphing calculators on this one? 